Good afternoon, folks, everyone. Welcome to our newest episode of, of the uh, GWS Conversation. I'm the host, Tracy Griffin, founder of Griffin Wellness Solutions. And today, before we get started on this topic today, I want our viewers, if you, if you know anything about Griffin Wellness Solutions, like our, like our website, um, uh, like our content, um, like our uh, YouTube page, and then explore the website to see whatever it is you may want to get some information on. It's all there. We keep the recordings of these videos, so please take the time and look at them. We're excited today to introduce to you our guest speaker, Mr. Charles Knowles from Philadelphia. Um, he's going to talk to us a little bit about his, um, his business, Vision Plus Fitness. Uh, he's a coach. He's a trainer, and he has a very interesting story to tell us today about how he started this business today in a COVID environment, and he's doing well. So we want to say welcome to our show. So welcome. Thanks. Thank you. I appreciate you inviting me, honestly. I mean, when you messaged me, it meant a lot. I was like, I didn't even hesitate. I was like, I'm doing this. This is cool. Right. I, you know, this is church family right here. So it was good. Man, I just, I so yeah. much appreciate the fact that you said that and the fact that you said yes, man, because I know... Yeah have a you have an awesome story to tell you have a lot to talk to us about um i've watched you and um like i said man i gotta get those abs like you guys <laughs> listen we could do it we could do it we, we could do it. it all right yeah, we could do it so we so again man, i just want to say thank you so we're gonna we're gonna ask you a few questions today hopefully um and i know for sure that your questions your answers are going to be an education to most people that are viewing this video today. So, um, so tell us a little bit about Vision Plus Fitness, first of all. Yeah, Vision Plus Fitness is um, obviously it's fitness, it's gym, um, but it, we try to make it more than that. You know, um, we try to make it a community of people that stick together, hold each other, hold each other real accountable. Um, and we just the whole goal of Vision Plus Fitness is obviously, obviously I don't know. Um, have too many people might not know my dad passed when I was seven. Mm -hmm. So if you see in the logo, there's a seven and the logo even so, um, it means a lot to me. My, I felt like, uh, my dad had a vision for his life and, um, he kind of neglected his health a little bit. And for me growing up, I was like, listen, like if I'm ever going to accomplish a vision that I have for my life, I need to be healthy. Then it became more about just me and helping other people, you know? And then um, I'm really like, hey, I can't help my dad anymore, but I can help other people accomplish their vision, maybe not by being at business with them, but helping them be healthy enough to conduct their business on a daily basis and be around to allow them to see it to come to fruition, you know? Wow, that's an awesome story there. That's, um, and thanks for explaining that seven on that. And yeah. Talk a little bit about your dad, man. Um, I, I just, I didn't know that and um, you know, you'll carry that on your chest for a while, you know, and that's how awesome yeah. you tell. Yeah. So, cause I was going to ask you, you know, what made you get involved in health and fitness? You know, what did, you know, you've been doing it as a youth, right? Yeah. Yeah. Since I mean, I started working out like hardcore working out probably in ninth grade, I guess. Um, and, uh, that was just, honestly, that was my fight or flight kind of thing. Right. I mean, like I was like really kind of growing up, like a little depressed, a little angry about things that have, I felt like weren't fair to me, which we all go through that, right? We always feel like something that happened is not fair. Um, my mom, you know, which, you know, my mother, um, great lady. I love my mom so much. We're tight now. Um, she got depressed, rightfully so, right? She lost her husband. She's stuck with all these kids. Um, we ended up losing our home. Um, we had to move to a smaller home. Uh, so things like that, working out really kept me sane and just being around people on a team, you know, and that's why I try to make the gym like a team, a team of people that are sticking with you. And then, you know, everybody's gonna hold each other accountable and you see the same people every day. Mm -hmm. You miss a workout, people are texting you like, hey, where are you at? You okay? It, it, it holds you accountable, it keeps you in there, you know, mm -hmm. so. So yeah, that's, that's your passion. So you mentioned your dad. Um, so was that what drove you? You said something a little bit about him not taking care of himself. So is that what, what your main drive is about as far as, uh, fitness and health and fitness and wellness as far as helping other other parents no or just myself in general hear yourself in general. yeah just my just myself in general so i'm the oldest living male in my family mm -hmm. at you know wow. with the last name so i know my my grandfather passed my dad passed his brother passed so it's just basically up to me and my brother 
to continue on with his last name. So it's important for me only being about eight years younger than when my dad passed away to continue to take care of myself, be heart healthy, eat yeah. the right things, um, stay spiritually strong, pray. Um, all those things are super, super important. You can work and have all the money in the world. If you're gone, it doesn't matter, you know? Yeah, I, that's awesome, man, because I think you're keeping God in your life. And what I'm hearing is the mind, body, and spirit, you know? Yeah. And that body piece is, I know you got the spirit part um, nailed down and not completely nailed down because none of us really no. 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 That. But that body part, you know, you're working on that and you're a good example to people. And I think you will always be, you know, just watching you, you know, and uh, thank you. Here you are and you started your own business, um, Vision Plus. Um, tell us a little bit about your location down there. I like to hear a little bit about your location. Yeah, it's, it's in Conshohocken. It's in a great area. I'm right now. I mean, I live in Conshohocken myself. I'm probably maybe two minute drive from the gym. Um, so that's a whole nother, that's another story we can get into, but, mm -hmm. um, Conshohocken is a great area, great community, uh, a good group of people. Um, honestly, everybody wants the best for, for each other. It's a tight knit community. It's, I would say it's almost, it's similar to, um, uh, some of the places in Lehigh Valley, which is why I like it so mm -hmm. much. The people are good. They're just good people. You know, it, it reminds me of, I don't want to say my church family, but it's like a family away from my church family. And it's kind of, mm -hmm. this is, I, I talked to, um, uh, Sister Bridget James, uh, you know, and uh, she said, listen, this is your ministry, but this is your ministry. It doesn't have to always be. And and that always stuck with me. And I just always, I'm, when I'm, so when I'm there, I'm like, hey, this is my ministry. This is what I do. Mm -hmm. This is why I'm here and I'm going to take it serious. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. So when I first got into this, Charles, I will tell you this wellness thing. I never, yeah. and I go this route, you know, and really take this thing on the way I have. Um, right. I've taken on three belt loops and my, my, my diet has really changed. I've, um, you look uh, great. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. You look great. Yeah. Thank you. I'm still working on it. I'm still yeah. a work in progress, but you know, for 57 years old, I feel good. Yeah. And yeah. I get as many people on to kind of talk through health and wellness. It just helps out, you know, because I've had cholesterol issues. I was overweight. The doctor wanted me to lose some pounds. So I was right. able to do all of that but it talks about proven results you know and you have some proven results over 13 years you know you've been working on this thing you know talk to me a little bit about proven results how you motivate people and once you know they come into your into your into your organization and they may not know that they're what you got what you have in store for them um, yeah you may not know that you're gonna you have a program in place for them and you have a in in mind for them and you know that they can make it to that point talk to me how you sell to them proven results yeah um i first i never look at it as selling right i think the most important thing to do is listen to what people want like listen mm -hmm. sometimes people go in there and you just and they just talk 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 mm -hmm. you might know some things you might have the right answers but it might not be the answers that they're looking for and everybody you have to meet people where they are and you have to kind of connect with them on their level so I'm big on listening. And then I listen, listen, listen. I say, hey, listen, this is somebody that was kind of in a similar position as you. I can show them that um, and just kind of connect the dots for them that way. And then even if, if it doesn't connect that way, you just get them and you say, hey, we like we offer a 14 days for $14 trial at the gym. The reason why um, first the seven, two times seven is 14. But on top of that, it takes 14 days to build a habit. It takes two weeks to build a habit. So if we can get, if we feel like if you're there for two weeks and you can kind of buy in and see what we have to offer, if it's a lot of times it's great for them, it, it kind of fits what you're looking for. If not, then awesome. Then we want to help you get somewhere that, that does. But after two weeks of being there, you're kind of like, okay, I see this will work for me or I see it won't. But a lot of times it does because we offer more than one type of class. Then the coaches, which we talked about, they're all different type of coaches. Everybody specializes in something different. So you might like something I do, or you might not like something I, I, I do, but you might like something that Dave does, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so there's a little fit. There's a little niche for everybody that comes, I feel like, personally. Yeah, it sounds like it sounds like it. And it sounds like, you know, you, you go along the same lines that we like to go along is that holistic view in things, you know, where you... Yeah. Get to meet the people where they are for first of all. I just posted something like that on Facebook. It's funny that you say that. I saw it. I saw it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I saw it. But because it's true, man. You know, you, yeah. you don't know where people are. And if you meet them where they are, then you that's your starting point, right? You can start right. 
and move on, you know? So when you talk about holistic approach with people, you know, talk to us a little bit how you, you take that holistic approach. Um, as far as, as far as what? As far as, um, you know, if, so, if I were to walk into your gym and uh, yeah, I want to lose a few pounds or I want to get in shape, but would you talk to me about, um, you know, um, diet? Would you talk to me about um, mainly diet and, and, and food and as far as working that out into yeah. my um, wellness? I, w- I would first talk to you about how do you, how you're feeling, like how, and how do you want to feel? Is, do you want to feel more comfortable in your clothes? Do you just want to feel better about yourself? Do you want more energy throughout the day? I think if you focus on those things and you chase those things, mm-hmm. then the results come along. Um, a lot of times, if you're just chasing the scale, your body is going to change so much more than the scale. I mean, you know, you diet, your body, your face is clear. Your face has probably come down mm-hmm. so much more than the scale has changed. Mm-hmm. So if you're, if, if you're physically looking at yourself, taking pictures, looking back on things like that, maybe an old memory of somewhere you want to get back to. Um, I'm big on just when I go work out for me personally, I'm, I'm working out because it makes me feel better. The results are going to come because I'm always chasing that feeling. I'm always chasing the benefits that come along with it mentally, spiritually. Mm-hmm. And then the physical part's going to come naturally, right? Cause you're putting the work and you're there. It's going to come. Um, so I always try to, I'm like, Hey, listen, and you have to focus on how do you feel? Are you feeling better each and every day? Are you feeling stronger? Uh, feel um, big emotions like that you know I think you people always want to feel something you yeah. want to feel connected to something or you want to feel better about yourself in general so I think that's always my main focus so what I'm hearing Charles is a mindset is right yeah get that people into that mindset you know the weight is going to come all of that's going to come but you, do you get up in the morning because my time to work out is early morning you know do you get yourself to do that every month do you overcome that even in within that 14 days do you develop yeah. a routine to make that happen? You know, and then you're going to see the results and then you're going to start feeling happy about yourself, right? Exactly. Exactly. 100%. Exactly. And that's, that's, that's the whole point. Mm-hmm. You know, over yeah. two weeks, if you're working out, you're going to feel better. Yeah. Now, I know that you do some individualized training, right? And yeah. then I noticed that you also do group training as well, mm-hmm. right? Is yeah. that, do they somehow... Um, Uh, match each other in other words um do you do coaching but then also recommend that some people get on a program with some of your group sessions i do i mean even for me personally if i see somebody now this has to be somebody that's working extremely hard if Mm -hmm. if i see you're working hard you know trace for example if you're if you're coming in and i saw like some of the things in class because the class moves fast right you're in there with all different levels of people so the class moves fast so if i see you're trying extremely hard and maybe you're not getting some of the moves. I'll after class, I'll message people and I'll say, Hey, why don't you come do two sessions with me? I won't even charge them for the sessions, but I see them trying hard. Now this can't be somebody that's just like slacking. I won't, I won't reach out to them, but mm-hmm. some people do need individual training to build a great foundation. They just need that time. Or I'll just ask them. I'm, I'm like, Hey, let's do two sessions together so I can go over the basic moves with you or some of the moves we're doing in class so that you're able to do it hundred miles per hour. It's just like when you first start driving. You know, when you first heard him, told to merge on the highway, it's like, you're, I'm going to merge on slow. <laughs> right, right, right. You don't want to really do it, right? Gosh. Yeah, but you're now you're now you're going right on the highway, which is class with a bunch of people that are flying. They're going 65, 7. They've been driving for years. Mm-hmm. You know, and this is your first time doing a class. So yep. you need to practice. You need somebody to kind of sit in the passenger seat with you. And I, I kind of try to be that person that sits in the passenger seat with them and, you know, go over the little things before they go out there and try to speed. Now, do you do training? Do you do personal training in the home or do, is it all done at your location? So I used to do in-home training, mm-hmm. um, but just because of the way the gym is right now and how busy it is, I just have to, I have to be there. Um, now we wear a mask and everything. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm in a mask, they come in a mask, but it just, it's for, you know, for the sake of time, I just can't travel to people's homes. Sense. Yeah. Talk to me a little bit about that. And I want to touch on that a bit. You started this thing. Most people closing closing their businesses during this uh, COVID uh, environment. You started yours during this situation. Talk to me a little bit about that. Yeah. Um, I felt like this is, you know, so nothing. Going back to just being young, right, with God, with God and the way everything's been in my life. And everything's been worth it to go through but nothing's been easy. Right. So if God's going to bless you with something, if you're going to be blessed with something or life is going to 
open the door for you for something, it's not going to be easy. And kind of with this whole pandemic thing, um, I saw I was provided an opportunity, a door opened. And I felt like, hey, if you're not going to take a chance, if you're not going to you know, take a step out in faith, you're not going to jump off this cliff. I think Steve Harvey has a really good quote about that. I don't know if you ever heard it, but it's just you're jumping. You know, you got to jump and you got to trust that the parachute is going to open, that you're going to land safely on your feet and that you're not going to fall on your face. And I trust I trust God and I trust my faith and I trust the way I've been led so far. And it's been working out. That is powerful. And, uh, man. That's yeah. powerful. Man. So you went and you went into it and you didn't look down like Peter did. You just went mm -hmm. straight ahead and you had the faith that it was going to take you through because God called yeah. you to do it, you know, and, right. and here your doors are, your doors are open. How long have you been open now? Since uh, July, I so I started the business actually four years ago. Though I was, mm -hmm. I used to sneak in the gyms, and mm -hmm. I would sneak in. I would sneak in the gyms to train people before mm -hmm. the other trainers would get there, like at LA Fitness or Planet Fitness, because mm -hmm. I knew I knew they wouldn't get in until eight. So I was getting in there like four or five, getting my sessions done, come back later, and I was pulling up to the track with equipment in my trunk, traveling to people's homes. Um, I would drive before I had money, I was sleep before I had any money to have my own place. I would sleep on my sister's couch in Lehigh Valley in Bethlehem, drive down here to Philadelphia for two sessions. At the end of the month, I only had enough to pay my car, which was uh 265 or 285. That's, that's what I was left with. But I just trust, I trust the process. And I, you know, I, I didn't know where I was going to end up if I, if I kept going, but I knew I would end up in the same place if I stopped. And that, that was, the, that, that was the scary part, right? I'd be stuck where I am if I stopped. And I'd be stuck on this couch. I'd be stuck on the floor. You know, um, that that's what scared me. Not 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 knowing where I end up, but being in that same place. That's what scared me more than not taking a chance. That's an awesome story. Now, um, that's some trusted names behind you too, right? Such as uh, Michael Harris, right? CEO yeah. of Sports, right? Um, yeah, yeah. Tell me about how you connected with them. I think you. I saw somewhere a former agent of Kobe Bryant. You, uh, yeah. you were connected to them. Talk to yeah, me that was about yeah. those experiences. Oh, uh, yeah, that Mike Mike Harris is a great dude. He's so he's Darren Sproles' agent. Um, he was Kobe Bryant's first agent. Um, I worked I work with uh, Elton Brand and his wife right now. You know, uh, Sixers seventy Sixers GM, um, Frank from uh, the Roots. All those guys. I, it's honestly, you know what it was, right? You know, people being in the right place at the right time, kind of thing, but. Yeah. Honestly, they saw they saw me in the gym working, and I was just in there. Like I said, I talked to you about this. The gym was my fight or flight kind of thing, and that was where I would fight. Right, that was was keeping me from depressed. It was keeping me out of trouble from doing stupid things. And they saw me in there like three three and a half hours a day, and I was just training people, and I was working out myself, and I would just sit in there, take notes, watch other people do exercises, and they kind of came up to me. I didn't know who Mike was. I didn't know who Frank was. And they just started, they asked me if I wanted to, if I would work out with them and help them out. And then somebody came up to them one time and was like, hey, then I see you on TV or aren't you blah, blah, blah. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and they're, and, you know, they're laughing because they see my face and I'm like, you know, I didn't know that, which was probably better that I didn't know that, you know, yeah, because I got to know. I swear I saw you on one of those Beachbody commercials. So. <laughs> yeah, I remember. <laughs> I wasn't on there, but I remember you messaged me about that. That's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah. awesome man you know yeah. god places you 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 put you as, as long as you're obedient and you place yourself where god commands you to be you bring yeah. to you like this you know and if you're to remain humble which i see that you are man the sky's yeah. the limits to what this business can do for you so just keep thank you Trish. You, man just be that means a lot yeah absolutely man um so talk to me about the um, upbeat environments you know we walk into your place Tell me how you keep this place to be an upbeat environment. You keep people motivated to do this. Yeah. We, so my biggest thing was before, you know, before just really diving deep into my faith, I knew that people like to be places where they can have fun. So we have the light set up. We have a projector. We play music videos on the projector. We try to make it a whole experience, right? People like, so when you go out to eat and you're paying money to go eat, you want a great experience, right? Food, you can cook, sometimes you can cook better food at the house, you know, than when yeah. you go on and pay a top dollar for a restaurant. Yeah. But you go because you want the experience. So yeah. I feel like 
I, we just want to provide a great experience. And we, and it's not that the gym's expensive. It's, it's that we want you to feel like you're underpaying because of everything we're delivering. And that's, you, you always want to under promise over deliver. I feel like, right. You want to, you want to promise, but you always, always want to over deliver on that promise. You never want to talk yourself higher than what you're going to deliver and just stay consistent. So we have the led lights in there. We have, um, the woodway treadmills we got versa climbers jacob ladders um the projector like i said that plays videos i'll play kobe bryant stuff on there sometime because i used to sit in starbucks when i had nowhere to go i'd do a 6 a.m session in philadelphia and not have another session till 6 p.m and i would have nothing to do but watch kobe bryant highlights and watch his speeches because it motivated me so much and i would sit there and work on my business ideas um so now it's cool to be able to play that for the workouts that are going on in the gym um and and people and people just feed off the energy in it right you know how it is we attract we attract what we put out yes. and um that's how the, that's how the environment's upbeat and the, for the right people just keep coming along yeah. i can't be i'd be lying if i say i have to try super hard because mm-hmm. it's just all kind of being open you know right right that's that's awesome man um, yeah. great answer it's a great answer um i understand that you also collaborate with other trainers in the area is that is that still the case? As, as far as how? To help uh, clients achieve um, their fitness goals. Do you do you do any collaborating with other clients or other um, trainers? We So I do have trainers that come in and they will, um, but they do classes at the gym um, mm-hmm. and it provides them with a home base to kind of train and do whatever um, they're allowed to do at the gym, which is bring clients from outside and it kind of helps. I did collaborate with uh, my one coach, Dave. Now he's going to train the one girl and I'm going to coach her on nutrition. Um, I feel like we'll take both of our expertise and it'll save him some time. And it allows me to kind of help her because we really want to see this girl do well. She tries really hard. And um, so I'm going to coach her on nutrition. Dave's going to train her. So we'll kind of tag team that. The nutrition mm-hmm. I'm just doing, not charging her anything. Mm-hmm. She's only pay for the training with Dave. So I think, I think that'll be fun. That'll be good. What are the hours in well. your location? Are you open twenty four seven or sure. no? So it's yeah, it's so it's uh five a.m. is our first class. We run about four to five classes a day, and our last class ends at about six thirty every day. Okay. Every day. Yeah. So you, so is the place occupied one hundred percent of the time during those hours, or is there some room for other sessions? There's some room for other sessions. Um, as far as like there's always that dead time in gyms, maybe like a one to two, one to three while people are getting out of work or coming from work at lunch. Um, but a lot of times it's filled up with personal training. And if not, the guys are in there working on some new ideas or setting up for their class that's about to go on. So I was asking, I'm kind of putting a plug in for my daughter because she's a big yoga buff. So she does yoga. Okay. So I don't yeah, know. we we could definitely figure something out for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna have yeah. to introduce you to she's yeah. in so I may have to introduce you, but um, at any rate, you know, I just, uh, I'm just so proud of watching you young guys, uh, young cats, you know, do your thing out there. I just know if I could, if I could say this to you, um, when I grow up, I want to be like you, you know, I want to be- <laughs> <laughs> God, yeah, I, I gotta be like, this is, this is the stuff I want to be doing right here. What you're doing right now, your website looks great. You get to talk about health and wellness. You care about it. You're living testimony of it. You actually take care of yourself. You lost the weight. Yeah. You know, I mean, you changed your whole future around because like you said, you had high cholesterol. You fixed that. You did that. Not just by sitting around and not doing anything. You actually, you worked. And that's, that's what it takes. Yeah. You see, the funny thing, I've always been a person to work out, but I understand the importance of not eating anything I wanted to eat and eating the right things, you know, and kind of right. putting all of that together is what right. working for me and staying, a, uh, um, you know, bringing my waistline down to a um, 32, man, is great. You know, the doctor told me, huge. he said I needed to be in like 180. I was thinking that, you know, I was manly when I was weighing 210, you know? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. He said, I need to get that down. So I got yeah. it because, you know, he was telling me some things that I didn't want to hear. So it was, right. very cool. yeah. So to watch, you know, to be able to, um, you know, learn about cardio, to be able to learn about portion sizes, to be able to learn about eating green, leafy green vegetables with protein in your diet and all, all that kind of stuff is, uh, you know, what Jeez. needs to understand, you know? Um, yep. So can you give me a connection between um, staying fit and food and, and eating right? What do you talk to your clients about? I tell them, 
yeah, I tell them, um, I'm super, super transparent where I'm, I'm like, Hey, we, we're going to train two or three times a week. I'll see you for three hours out of the week. But the time that you are eating, if you're not eating or following that, what I'm telling you to follow with the meal plan or what you know you're supposed to eat, this is all going to be for nothing. And you're going to feel like you're wasting your time. And I'm going to feel bad because you're not getting the results that you want to get um, portion control, right? You need the protein, you need the veggie, you need the carb, but it has to be good carbs. It can't just be French fries. It has to be a sweet potato. It has to be quinoa, brown rice, um, lean meats, 93.7 ground beef, 90.10 ground beef, 93.7 ground turkey, um, chicken breast, you know, you know um, unsalted foods. You don't want high sodium foods. Um, all those things we talk about. If you want to drink, guess what? When you drink, your body's first go-to source of energy is going to be the alcohol. So you're going to burn off that. You're going to have, your body's going to go to burn off the alcohol before it even gets to the fat and everything that you want to burn off. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, your metabolism is going to slow down. So it's making it harder. One hard night of drinking ruins three, three to four days of hard training. So, you know, you're taking one, you're taking three steps back every time you drink. Yeah, that's good stuff. Um, I, I uh, you had me thinking about a few, a few uh, episodes back. I interviewed my niece, uh, who's a chef, and she okay. studied, studied um, nutrition at Johnson and Wales, and she was talking some of the same things. You know, um, it'd probably a good conversation to have with you. You know, talking yeah. about stuff. But um, yeah, so that's that's a good thing to talk to your uh, clients about, and just talk about. I don't I don't use the word diet, right? I use right. Uh, um, lifestyle change, you know, because right. we don't, we're not, we're not doing this just to lose weight for a minute or for a season. You want to keep it off, right? Exactly. You not gain that weight back anymore. So it's a lifestyle change. What do I wake up in the morning and do? What do I eat during the course of the day? You know, which makes me who I am today. You know, someday, someday, one day I want to look like Charles, you know, I want to be, be fit and trim, you know, and not yeah. everybody can have that physique though. Right. But so to have good health, to get good results when you go to the doctor, you get your blood tests back and all of that, that's good. It's all a part of what you're doing right now in your gym. Would yeah. You yeah, I agree 100%. I couldn't say any better myself. And just to, to go on, just to harp on a point, one thing I always do, I, ne for, I never, my biggest, my biggest prayer, my biggest thing each and every day is I always want to be the best version of myself i want to be everything that i was created to be so i didn't i don't follow these other guys these other fitness guys that um or especially for women uh you know because it's hard it's hard on them they'll follow these girls where or even guys as well where they're posting these pictures and you're kind of shooting for that but what you guys shoot for is just being the best version of yourself because you should feel like the best version of yourself is the best that's that's how i feel and that's how you should feel. That's how everybody should feel. That's that's what that's what the goal is here in, in life, I feel like, is be the best possible you that you can be. And each day you want to take a step forward towards that. Um, if you're comparing yourself, if you're shooting for somebody else's, you, you're lost in the game. Because I, I never personally shoot for anything other than just being better than I was yesterday. And if you can do that each day, or at least take six steps, five steps forward, and only two back each day, each week out of the seven, you're winning. And you're taking and you're at the end of the year, you're going to end up further ahead than a lot of other people or further away further ahead than you would if you didn't. You know what I find to be very powerful is those before and after photos. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You post those up and you bring people in and you kind of give them that talk that you that you've been giving us today. Um, yeah. Those before and after photos. You can't beat but sell that, you know, to people. Yeah. Here's your motivation. And I've taught you all the things you need to know. I've talked to you about this lifestyle change and I talked to you about you being the best you. Now it's up to you to kind of walk this out after the 14 days or however long they decide to be with you. And guess what? We have programs that you can come back. This gym is always open to you. Is that what you offer as well? This gym yeah. is always a place for you to come and work out. You know, um, we're always here to help and coach you. I love the fact that you talk about helping people and do portions of what you do for them. Not that you're going to do it for everyone who walks through the door, but you right. You said, I don't even charge you for that because I'm concerned about your wellness. I'm going to give you, let you do this workout program, but we're going to offer you this nutrition part free. And that might not be offered to everyone, but just the fact 
that you care about that person, you know, enough to say, hey, I want to see you succeed. So yeah. that's good. That's good. So um, you kind of touched on it a little bit and we're going to wrap this thing up. But talk to me a little about what advice would you give someone who uh, wants to pursue fitness and dietary goals, but doesn't know how to start? As a as a um, profession or somebody that just wants to be better? Charles, I keep riding by your shop, man. I keep riding by your place and I see it. I don't know. I, I don't know if the glass is wide open where people can see people working out inside. And I want to I want to be like that, but I just don't have the heart and the guts to do it. Talk to me about how you would encourage people to come on. It. I, would, I would say everybody, the most people that are successful, people that are in shape, always want to help other people, right? Though, like, I always want to look back. I want to help you be in the best shape possible as you can, because I know how it feels when you're not feeling great about your body or your temple, right? I know how that feels. So I have empathy. I, I, I want to help you. Um, I reach out to experts. If I have a question about something, um, whether it might be finances or something, what do I do? I reach out to financial experts. I reach out to those experts. I reach out to the people that know. If I need spiritual counsel, I reach out to my pastors. I reach out to those people. Um, you, you can't. You have to reach out to experts. Everybody has a part in the body, and that, and you want to connect with those other people. And that's, don't be afraid to connect and learn more. Mm -hmm. You should be afraid of not learning more. And if you're, if you don't want to be around a bunch of people, ask to do a private one-on-one -on -one session. Ask to come in with nobody to a smaller class. Ask, ask about a beginner's class. Um, we're we're all gonna start somewhere. I don't care where it is in life, um, whether it's fitness or whatever the case may be. If you put me in front of a technology computer screen, I'm gonna be like, what's going on, right? Compared to some of these IT guys that are just yeah. hacking through the internet. We're all starting somewhere. Um, you can't be embarrassed. You just you should want to connect with experts. You should want to learn. Um, and the most successful people and the people that care the most, those are the ones that are gonna be help you and understand. And if you go to a place and it's not them, there's gonna be another place. Don't let one experience ruin um, you know, all the rest yeah. for you. Some people call it wise counsel. Some people call it that mastermind group, you know, but yeah. you discern that you need help and you can't do this alone. So, uh, and same thing with your temple. I can't do this alone. I need to seek wise counsel or I need to consult my mastermind group to kind of help me out and get me through this thing. And yeah. You know, step out on faith and come on out there, you know, just like you stepped out on faith, you know, and come on out there and just you'll be amazed at what the results will be. You know, your yeah. doctors will be pleased, you will be pleased. And when you see the before and after photos, you'll be pleased with that as well. Yeah. Yeah. Like you said, there's nothing better than looking back on those before and after pictures. And I guess basically what we're both saying is seek a mentor, right? If you're if your business, seek a mentor. You have to look at fitness as a a business. Your body is your business. Right. It's the most important business you got. Yep. Um, seek a mentor for it, just like you would do with anything else. If you don't know where to start, if you were going to start a business, you would seek a mentor. You seek somebody that did it before you. Um, awesome. That's the most simple way to put it. Yeah. So, um, again, Charles, I want to say thank you. Show us your T-shirt again. Talk us what. Oh, uh, yeah. So it says vision, vision seven. Yep. Yeah, vision, vision plus fitness. We got the plus. We call it a plus, but you know what it's shaped like. Awesome, awesome. So if you're in the area, Contra Hawking in Philadelphia, stop by, you wanna give your address, Charles? Yeah, yeah, it's 701 East Elm Street. You guys can vis uh, visit the website at visionplusfitness.com. Uh, check us out on social media, Vision Fit 7, Instagram, Vision Fit 7, for the Facebook and my Instagram personal. You can always connect with me, message me if you have any questions, it's Charles Knowles Jr. Um, it's straight across all social media is always Charles Mills Jr. Real simple, real easy to find. All right, cool. I'm gonna have to get in there and kind of check you out and work on these apps. Come down, come down. We'll grab some. We'll go to True Food Kitchen right up in uh, King of Pressure right after. Right. I lifted. I saw. Um, I saw Pastor Phil and Wegmans one time when I was leaving. We connected. We had lifted right after the one time. Oh, it was good, funny. Good, yeah, good, yeah, good. yeah. Good. Yeah, I did one with him. Uh, that was my first one with with Pastor Phil, and we talked about heart health. You know, and yeah, to start off with and talk about heart health. So right. Thank you so much, man. Uh, yeah. As we close today, before we wrap up today with Griffin Wellness Solutions, as a reminder, be sure to follow us on social media. Um, click the links on our page if you're interested and. Um, 
Thank you again, Charles. Uh, once again, we'd like to thank you, Charles, for joining us today on this episode. Stay tuned for future episodes and have a blessed day. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a